So Battle Bus, along with a thousand other buses, was requisitioned for the First World War. Um, Battle Bus itself, B2737, was built uh, late 1913, possibly early, early 1914, started service in, in 1914 on Route 9. It was requisitioned uh, early on in the war and we don't know where it served but we do know that it was requisitioned. I've been doing some family research on my grandfather, John Henry Taylor. We knew he was a bus driver between the two world wars and we discovered when carrying out more research that he was also a bus driver during the First World War and that he was a part of the um, ASC and drove the buses, we believe, in France, but we're not 100% sure on that. We did get some medals for doing that. Uh, the conditions that they had to work in and, and actually to live in uh, must have been just horrendous. There were no proper billets arranged for them, so far as I know. Uh, the drivers and their uh, assistants slept, lived on the buses. Um, so uh, you can imagine if you translate that into normal things like cooking, washing, eating, etc. Um, you know, th those facilities just didn't exist. So it was a, a double challenge for them really, driving under those conditions on those roads with enemy action all around and just day-to-day -day living. One of the things they had to do in winter um, was to stop the engines from freezing. It's the worst that could happen, and this happened a lot, was the radiator freezing and the pipes cracking because the, the water expands uh, inside them. And that pretty much means that the whole vehicle is useless until you get a replacement radiator. And so what they would do in, in winter would be every two hours somebody would have to get up and start all the engines. Now the, the only way to start them is hand crank them and um, they would travel in convoys of 70 buses or so. It's, in, it's interesting when people ask you about uh, why you want to remember people and it's quite important for our future to know the past where we came from and I think it's just uh, having that connection and knowing our own roots and knowing what the sacrifices people made for us.